Was? Today on this bus, we are working on the sliding glass door area. We cut all the pieces and got it all in place, but none of it's attached yet. I'll also be working on the pattern for the side of the bus for all the new rivets that go along the hat channels that we put in. All right, we got the uh, framework put in for the sliding glass door. And what we did is we tacked it in place in the bottom and then we uh, basically squared it up. We had to pull it forward just a little bit to get it perfectly square. And the way you find square on these things, you triangulate your measurement. And then if it measures the same, you know you're good and square. So that's what we did here. Uh, now we're getting ready to just bring this over and test fit it and make sure we put this place in the proper place. So we gotta make sure this thing fits. You ready? Cross your fingers. Let's hope this thing fits. Oh, ho, ho. man, that's perfect. All right, it fit right in, no problems whatsoever. Just squeezed right in perfectly. Uh, what we're gonna be able to do now is be able to adjust the depth of this in or out. What we're doing, we're, we're gonna, this will be a sliding door and we're building like a drawbridge type scenario that's gonna, it'll be a, a fold out deck basically that will fold back up and enclose this window. So when you're driving down the road, you won't even know this door's here. Um, and this will fold down and then they'll be able to open it up and step out on this really cool deck. It'll be the size of this framework pretty much. So once we do finalize fit this, we'll probably just use little screws on the backside and just shoot screws in through, the, through this thing and that'll lock it in place and we'll be able to seam seal it all up. We are putting in some window framing today. So the window's gonna go right here. We're gonna take out this section of hat channel, add in some horizontal supports top and bottom. Then we will add in some vertical supports where the window is going to go. And uh, when they're all done, you'll have a nice square here and the window will just pop right in. This is our cut mark we measured. It's 463 millimeters to right here. We're using metric system on this bus because it's a German bus. <laughs> but actually, more than that is the window sizing only came in millimeters. So, we have to use millimeters to make sure the windows are gonna fit right. Cause trying to convert millimeters into like fractions and decimal points is really tough. So we're just using millimeters on this bad boy. I have to push it down a little tiny bit, but not much. One millimeter. So now that we have these horizontal beams in place, we're going to cut the vertical ones and put them where the window's going to go. Good job, Wes. Okay, let's measure our distance. Up. Uh, this 
it's hot when I'm touching. The bus is being shipped to Germany and the windows are in Germany. So we have to build all these windows by measurements sent by the owner of the bus. So we are building these without having windows to fit inside. Hopefully they're gonna fit. So we're doing our best to make sure they do. Well, now the window's in. You saw what we did. We took out the center part, put these horizontals in, measured it, make sure it's all even, then add these vertical supports. Now the window's gonna go right inside. Not much else to say about that. We've already done these horizontals on this side of the bus go all the way to the back. There'll be four windows here and they were different sizes. Same height at the top. So we went all the way back and then different levels for these two different windows.